The Buddha once gave a formula for what makes an auspicious day. You don't go running to the past. You don't go leaning toward the future. You stay in the present moment, you clearly see what's coming up. Right there, right there, he says, right there in your mind. And then you ardently do your duty. Which means if something unskillful is coming up, you've got to learn how to abandon it. Something skillful happens to arise, you try your best to maintain it and develop it. If it hasn't arisen yet, you try to give rise to it. In other words, you don't just sit there hoping for something good to come. You make something good come. Because goodness comes out of our intentions. You want to cultivate your intentions as much as you can. And the Buddha says, you do this, you focus on the present moment, because you don't know how much longer you've got. But you do know that you have right now. So what makes a day auspicious is not the date on the calendar or the stars. It's auspicious because of what we do, how the mind handles the whole issue of time. How it handles the past, handles the future, handles the present moment. Because we are immersed in time. And we're basically trying to get out. Because in time, what is there? Well, there's birth, but there's also aging, illness, and death. Things can change very radically in time. We have the Dharma eye. You step outside of time and you realize that. Time, or your experience of time, didn't begin only with your birthday, the day when you were born. It goes way, way back. But the deathless is always there. The reason you don't see it is because you've been doing skillful and unskillful things in a mixture. You come back from that experience, you've got a whole new perspective on time. It's not everything. But because we live so immersed in time, it's hard to imagine it. Fortunately, you don't have to imagine it, but you can get there. And that's what the Buddhist instructions as to your duties are all about. Stress arises, you try to comprehend it. Its cause arises, you try to abandon it. You develop the path so you can realize cessation. Those are the duties that get you out, that free you. And that's a very auspicious day. So do your best to make today an auspicious day. Each day, make it an auspicious day. And it's in your power to do so. Don't abdicate that power to anything else.